Hello, what's up everybody? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja and I am here again with another Academics Corner video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time and upload a new video. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just go straight to today's video. As you can see on the title, today we want to talk about why is it that every time when we open the books and we are ready to study and then all of a sudden we feel sleepy. I know that I'm not the only person who have experienced this thing so we're going to go in depth what are the reasons that cause us to feel sleepy every time when we study and possibly we will be able to reach to a point where we talk about solutions which what is it that you can do to fix that problem sleeping less also can cause you to be sleepy every time when you want to open your books and study so these are the people who sleep late at night if you are unable to study during the night make sure that during the night you take all the sleep that you can get because the more rested you are the better you'll be able to focus and be attentive to the books and the resources that you are trying to uh, study for your examinations. So number two, the reason why we might be sleepy sometimes when we are trying to study is because we overeat. We know that every time when, uh, when we have eaten, uh, it is more, much likely that we will get comfortable and cozy and we will get sleepy. If, when you do eat, eat small portions because you're preparing to pass, okay? You don't want to get sleepy and drowsy and all comfortable and cozy to the point that you can't focus to your books. Have uh, maybe five minutes breaks in between, cut to your time of studying. If you allocated an hour or two of studying, tell yourself that each and every 10 minutes you're gonna stand up and do something, even if it's just for five minutes or two minutes and come back to your books, just so you don't get bored. Cause some people, they really get bored when they find themselves in one space for a lengthy period of time. So they end up getting bored and then they get sleepy and then they feel comfortable. And then, you know, the next thing people are dreaming instead of studying. So you need to make sure that you look out for that. Also, do not work out. There are people who are working out. Um, I was one of these people who used to also love to jog in the morning. And I realized that it takes a lot of energy from me for the things that I want to do for the rest of the day. So then um, I can... I, advise that if you are a kind of a person who works out and you enjoy working out in the mornings and you are used to that time for you every sunrise you find yourself that you need to work your body you need to work out of which is a good thing but during your examination preparations i'd suggest that you make sure that you work out afternoon after you have done your studying so you start with your studying first then you can work out because what normally happens is that even our brains get tired and exhausted when we work out our bodies so we will feel like we are tired or maybe we'll come to the state of feeling relaxed and we want to rest because we have uh, uh, consumed all the energy that we were having to take out to take us through the day you know so now you don't have that energy because you started with working out so make sure that you work out after you have started in the day okay so also the environment that you are in can also cause you to be sleepy i remember tina sister cool i don't know if you guys know this but tina sister cool class in we would get sleepy and when we do get sleepy it would be like like a group of us are sleepy and then the first suspicion would be we would suspect to go to Konumundo meet, like we would start asking ourselves. I know what there are people who might relate to this. I went to a township high school, so this is something that we used to know. And whether it's a teacher or a student who's pregnant, we tend to be very sleepy and very drowsy in the class. And most of the time, I think I can say 40% of the time, it was always true. <laughs> So make sure that you also don't fall for the same thing. Sometimes the environment that you are surrounded or that you find yourself in can cause you to be sleepy. If you are at, your, at the comfort of your home or if you are at your home or your house, you can make use of incense sticks or you can use make use of candles, which can actually help you to calm yourself down, okay? So the candles like steel and having it somewhere in the corner of the room where you are studying maybe can be the favorite color of your candle, you can choose a color of your choice. And light your candle and see maybe the mood of the room will change, the atmosphere and the energy of the room will change. Then your incense stick that smells nice to you, that makes your brain feel so, you know, activated and relaxed at the same time. So there are many other things that you can play around with. Maybe change the setting of your of your room. Maybe you are not comfortable because the way your, your room is set up, the light is far from where you are. Natural light, that was I'm, I'm referring to, because natural light is much better than the light that we have. So if it's possible for you to access natural light in the room where you are studying, try by all means to make sure that you open your curtains, your blinds, let make sure that the sun or the light from the outside is coming inside the room where you are so that the environment does not also put you into sleep and put you into that 
mood where you don't feel like you want to study or proceed with your studies any further. So um, this is something that uh, most people growing up, they were told to do. And it was so funny when I heard from my husband for the first time when he told me that when they were sleepy during their times when they were studying and they didn't want to fall asleep during the night of studying, they would actually dip their feet in cold water the whole time while they're studying. Remember when I mentioned about getting yourself uncomfortable, don't be too comfortable, and I suggested that you go up and down. Well, this could be, or this can be also one of the options um, of doing that, keeping yourself busy and keeping yourself awake, especially if you're a kind of a person who have a problem of getting really sleepy every time when you start studying. So you can try this technique and see how it works out for you, but make sure that you just get a bowl and put the cold water, dip your feet inside there and mind your business. And trust me, you will be awake rest assured, no matter what. And as for if the quality of the studying is going to be as you want, I'm not sure. I honestly have never tried this, but you try it and see how it works out for you. Maybe this is what you've been looking Looking for all this time and also guys you need to understand that when you are stressed you will not be able to produce a positive result or be productive with your study so what normally happens in our bodies is that when we are stressed or when we are experiencing a high level of stress then what normally happens is that the brain releases a, a hormone that hormone produces an acid within our bodies so when we are acidic and then we are much likely also to end up being dehydrated and so all those things are going to start causing us problems we'll have like as if our vision is not as clear we feel as if we are getting dizzy you know you you have all these problems so you need to make sure that you by all means make sure that you are not stressed during your exams and if you feel yourself that you are getting stressed out by some situation find somebody who's close to you you can talk to or vent on social media for crying out loud just vent and then they'll control you and <laughs> you know something is gonna give something is gonna happen but do not stay with the problem within you just find somebody to talk to so that you'll be able to release this whole thing out so that you'll be able to focus on the most important things while i was talking about being dehydrated which is my next point yes if you are dehydrated you will also feel very drowsy most of the time because you are lacking that energy that you're just like the plants we are exactly like the flowers blossoming and blooming and they need cultivation and watering and so we need to do the same thing with ourselves we don't only need to bath and make ourselves look pretty and handsome we also need to make sure that we are hydrated and that we are not stressed and that also when you are stressed you can listen to music and i think i've mentioned this before that there is a particular hormone that is being released every time you listen to your favorite music that can put you in a calm state and luckily for you guys i want to share this it's, just, it's such an amazing thing i came across a guy which is called aj gent if i'm not mistaken i'm just gonna leave his name right here he does a singing guitar music which is so amazing but what he does most importantly is that he focuses when he composes his music, he focuses on all the elements of the sound of the music that have the healing properties within our bodies as we listen to the sound. So these sounds can actually regenerate your DNA, reactivate your DNA. They can uh, declot your mind if you're stressed. They can uh, cleanse your brain for you. So if you listen to this, I'll leave the link also down below so that you'll be able to tap in and see yourself. And trust me, it works amazing. So these are all the things we need to make use of to make sure that the quality of our bodies and our minds and our psychology and our emotions is up to date so that we'll be able to produce positive results when we are writing our examination so uh, last but not least i want to make sure that if you hate a module also guys the attitude is everything if you hate a module obviously you're going to have difficult times staying focused studying for that module so you need to find interesting ways luckily for us we have google these days we have the internet you can just go to internet and find different ways which are entertaining or which are fun that you can study a module that you don't like. And you'll be amazed how many of other strategies which are out there that you can make use of that will make you feel as if you're not really studying, but you are getting something out of it in this module that you don't like so much. And I know that is the truth. We do come across those kind of modules where we feel like, okay, now this one is not my favorite. You know, I think as academics, we have came across that thing, if not once or twice. So if you have that problem yourself, you can make sure that you find the strategic ways or possibly maybe in the next video, I'll be able to show you guys the techniques that you can use if you are studying for the module that you dislike, you know. So with that, um, going any more further, I think that's the 
end of the video guys thank you so much for staying tuned in if you're a returning subscriber i truly 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 appreciate you for staying tuned in till this time and guys if you're coming for the first time thank you so much do not forget to subscribe below and press the notification bell so that we will meet again every time and upload a new video so thank you from me to you all i can say is i'll see you on the flip side cheers